But I need to see that microphone. Can you see it? And what about this one? Which one? This one? There you go. You see it. I know. Oh. <laughs> That's why they're switching. Need them. I did let you know. Oh, okay. Okay. Here we are. Queuing up. Happy oh, New listen. Year! Happy New Year! Yeah, we're not supposed to be on uh, the Azores yet. I'm sorry about that. They, uh, isn't it beautiful there though, right? I mean, come on, think oh. about it. The uh, Azores. Yeah, I think that Steve, he just turned me on to a new place without even realizing it. What do you mean without even realizing it? Well, you knew that the Azores that was mean? in the right time zone for the for ball the drop. what? And their ball will drop at midnight, and that will be eight o'clock our time. That's right. Their ball will drop, and but that's I you know I meant to get the, the graphic. Azores. And then I went and looked. And there's like hydrangeas, blue hydrangeas growing this, wild. This is there's the Azores. This color. is the Azores she's talking about, kids, right there. Yep. And um, I'm that. thinking if Fort Myers keeps growing. Yeah. I might want to. Bitches keep moving down here. I have to see how pet friendly it is, though. I didn't see that. But it ticks all the boxes for me. Take a look, huh? Yep. That's you the Azores. Get this is like obviously in film, filmed earlier today. You wear shorts. But, uh, yeah, and just just wait. Oh, oh, they're starting up already. We'll get back to them. And there's more cows in the Azores than there are people. And they eat grass that is grown on top of volcanic dirt, I guess. Well, which means would, no, they have be, more lava. Lava. Well, I guess it, would, it could be if it was... I mean, so there's more B3 in their milk, and they produce cheese and milk, and there's whales all around, and it's very laid back. Very laid back. Yeah, that's, let me tell you what. That's your kind of place? That's my kind of place. There's that's... beaches, the weather's perfect year-round. I just have to find out about how pet-friendly they are. It's pretty great. I mean, it's pretty great. I don't know when the last time you were there. Well, you've never been there, but I don't know when the last time any of you were there. But uh, it's, it's the freaking Azores. We might be doing the show from the Azores. Yeah, we might have to do the uh, Azores edition. Uh, yeah, like for the rest of our life. Because <laughs> Fort Myers is getting like... It's pretty, pretty nice out uh, there. It's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. I love Fort Myers. But it's not the sleepy little town we moved to 17 oh, years ago. Oh, come on. It's, you know, no matter where you go, if you want, uh, you know, it's a matter of what you want to trade off. Do you want to trade off having anything you want to eat, like 10 minutes away for what? Well, no. you know what? Good way to lose weight. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yep, it's a good way to lose Ooh, weight. Speaking what? of, oh yes, I made a delicious Waldorf salad for lunch today. Classic. A Waldorf classic. Salad. Does anybody know what's in a Waldorf salad? Hmm. I, nobody's saying anything yet. They're <laughs> still saying Happy New Year to each other. Okay, and so they, they can do that. They, can they do that in do the that. beginning usually. We taking bets on who's first in tonight to the uh, to the party, kids? Not them, them, those. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah, our people. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, Sue says nope. What was the question? <laughs> Have you ever been there? Uh, Maybe nope. was that the question? Yes. No? Yes. Well, you know, it's a, there's a series of islands. It's not just you know um, we're celebrating it's with. It's like the, the Bahamas, but it's the Azores, and it's off of Portugal. It's, uh, it's not. Is it off of? It's four like, hour. Plane flight from, from Boston. Boston. Easy peasy Japanesey, and it's um in the North Atlantic. Uh, I was going to do the map thing, but yeah, but it's not cold there. There's no, no snow. No snow. No. No snow. It's they it's when they uh, describe the weather, they say it's perfect. And let me ask you: Is it Greenland or Greenland? Like Newfoundland is not Newfoundland. 
I'll Waveland I, 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 is I, I, not Waveland. I'm about Waveland. to make a pass. I'll, I'll find out when I pass by. <laughs> we'll have to find out. Newfoundland. So we hope everybody's going to stay safe tonight. Yeah, you got to stay safe jammies. tonight. In your jammies. That's right. You can stay home and come to our party at the same jammies. time. That's right. That's right. So let's see. What else do we have planned for them? I, I, you know, the Azores thing is going to be really cool. They throw down. Phil, I hope your niece is there with some good pot for you. Oh, well, see, that was, you know, I mean, I hope you all got the invitation that said you can have anything you want at the party as long as you bring it. That's right. I, no problem. You can even shoot heroin because, hey, if that's what your thing is, go ahead. It won't affect us. We don't want you to die, but. You, you know, really? <laughs> hey. Let me tell you what, if, if I. What, you want him to die? <laughs> No, I want oh, him to not, shit. uh, no, no. Oh, I need to be able to see, see, okay. See, see how I can't see their comments? Oh, you want to see their comments? Yeah. Oh, oh. Ah, because I don't get I can to see, see all now. the comments. Can you see those comments now? Amateurs are out, that's right. Amateur night tonight. Watching Tubi. Okay, and Sue is with her cat and watching Tubi. Wow. Framboise beer and smoking a bowl. Oh. All right. Oh, all right, now. Okay, do we get do we get tonight's uh, smoking pot as we speak? Very good. All right. What, what is very... um, a framboise beer? That sounds foreign. Yeah, what is that? It Flambois. sounds like it's French. It's okay. Oh, Anton, Old smoking pot as we speak. All right, Anton, yeah, these Anton. are our people. Yes, these are our, these are our people, the lawn chair people. Our lawn chair people, we and love you. And we do love you. We absolutely love you. This and is stay, why we're here. Stay right. exactly the way you are. Yes, don't You're go change Perfect changing. the way you are. Yep, it's the truth. Smoking pot, a joint or in a pipe, Anton? <laughs> I'm just interested. Well, Sue's smoking a bowl. Right. What kind, of, what kind of pipe are you wait minute, using? Wait a minute, wait a minute. What's Belgium? What's oh, that's what the beer is. Oh, it's a Bel... Oh, okay. All right, okay. so wait a minute. So I smoked before the show started. All right, Tommy. Not me. <laughs> I'm going out in a minute. We have premium pot here. Who's that? Yeah, that's Gail. Gail. Raspberry, strawberry, and peach flavors. That's got to be... We're back to... Gail's in the, Florida. What? Gail lives in Florida. Yeah, I know. I know. We have premium pot here? Yeah, we have but premium you have pot everywhere like now. Medical it's charge. Like, it's not recreational in Florida. I'll tell you what, I never... the stupidest thing. Every time I hear medical, I oh, picture those three guys Sue on the bus. Sue has raspberry, strawberry, and peach. Yeah, but that's beer. Are you sure? Keep up with the, keep up with the string. Oh, okay. That's why I don't look over there, because I'll be, I'll be doing See, this for the whole show. See, I don't get any of that over here. Well, you know here. what, now I hang out with you guys. I, I'll put you guys, like, right over here. This so way. You can't read it anyway. Yeah. Okay, so I think the first one in tonight is going to be Booker. Really? Yep. Okay. If that's what you believe? I do believe. I do believe. And um, we have not heard any fireworks yet. Yeah, they're fireworks. You he's heard under the that's bed. Why he he's under the bed. bed. No, he's under. He does not like the fireworks. No, he does not. So you can imagine he's not a not a uh, oh, kick ass week on Long on Long Beach in Long Well, yeah, why not, right? Well, I, it's it's legal. Okay, <laughs> look, Sulacente, we have a winner. Sulacente, why? What you do? Hey, read your comments, babe. I don't get it over here. It's, uh, well, there it is. they're gone. I was right. That's right. We were, yeah, we were betting on it. you. He said, who you were first? We were betting on you, yeah. And I said, Booker. We were betting on uh, you. How you guys doing? We're doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. Uh -oh. This year is almost over. That's yeah, it's almost over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll tell you what, this, they are lighting it up over in frickin' uh, the a the a Oh, they're going nuts. Yeah, I, I, it took me a while to get tapped into their feed, but mm -hmm. I'm in. I'm in. Good. And, we want to go there now. And I'm, oh, yeah, we want to go there now. Yeah. And I'm going to need you for some translation, because they, they, they say some things, because, you know, so you got to read the stuff Portuguese? at the end. You speak some Portuguese. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Ah, oh, no. 
No. It's oh. close. Well, I barely you... read English. Uh, <laughs> okay. You're very well spoken. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not fooling anybody. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, man, I tell you, it's weird. Well, it's, it's not all that weird. I was going to say not working on New Year's Eve because now it's been a couple of New Year's Eves. Now it's it's two for me. So, you know, it's I would normally be at like the Rainbow Room. Yeah, that's ah. right. I did that for years. Man. Yeah. Oh, look. It's, it's the Reverend Tom. <laughs> How are you? All right. How you doing, Book? I'm good. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, see, now maybe he can translate for us. Do you speak any Portuguese? Uh, I use my phone. I cheated. <laughs> oh, I see how it is. Okay. So that's well, that's this... Happy New Year in Portuguese. Yes. Yes, it is. Uh, yeah, because we're celebrating. Oh, Angus, I thought you were going to go to the wrong island. <laughs> You're muted, Angus. Look at that. I know. I got it. I got it. Shit. Oh, man. Look at this. Oh, look at Joe's going to have the same kind of background. Uh-oh. Oh. Okay. All right. <laughs> That's the Azores. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Have you been there? Yeah, have you been there? I have not. It is, man. We it, were looking it, at pictures you, today. You've That's never gorgeous. seen anything li like it. I might as well put up. Like, I got Azores cam, as you can see. It reminds me of New Zealand, only it's a lot closer. It yeah, is. And, and they're crazy there. Uh -oh. These people. What, are, are, what, what islands are there? This is uh, this is San Miguel. There's I don't know what the other ones are. They you know there's sound like there's nine of them. Yeah, there's nine of them. San Miguel is like where the capital is, but right. there's not a lot of people there. But there is some broken glass. <laughs> and the main thing to do there is whale watch. So that's wow. cool. I'm not going near that one. I'm not going near. <laughs> Well. But yeah, it's cool, man. And they're like, right, you know, they're uh, and they're almost directly across from us. Hey, I think Angus. They're... Yes. You need to join the party tonight and not look down and text all night. I'm looking to see where the Azars are. Do that after the show, bitch. <laughs> where the? <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, honey, don't hold back. I'm not. Um, let's see. <laughs> Maybe my New Year's resolution will be... Don't hold, hold back? Hold back. <laughs> yeah. Maybe not. But every time he's on, he's always looking down. Well, because he's trying to figure so something out. We so, need uh, you, you know. here now, Angus. He's showing. Because uh, it looks like you get bored with our party. Yeah, you don't want to do that. You don't want to get bored with the party. Okay, here we go. No, I don't get bored at all. <laughs> yeah. yeah, because you're reading shit. Yeah. <laughs> No, I, you know what? I just booked two Thursdays from now. You're your guest. So yeah. that's what I just did. Yeah, well, the, very, the very parade's good. coming down the street right yeah, here now. Here it comes. <laughs> Next time do it. Next time do it with a split screen on that, that expensive computer you got there. The, uh, the, uh, up up thank the you, Shark. Ah, yes. Oh, well, ah, I got to do that. I gotta... Oh, tonight, it's not Char. in here. Wait a minute. I got to get to here. Here we go, my my Azor friends. Does that make it worse? Yes, I guess it does. Here's <laughs> well, the... Oh, Steve, what is the... that? That's the Azores. Yeah, but you can't see it. It looks like little dots. What do you mean you can't see it? Watch. I'll make you see it here. How's that? You can't see our party guest. What? Well, I'm just, you know, I'm trying to hip everybody up to the Azores. This is all that is. Okay, so San, uh, it does say San Miguel. I here. told you that, but, you know, that's but all. In that's other it. places, it's spelled like Sal Miguel. Yeah, that's what I was just looking at. Yeah. Booker, can you explain yeah. that? Yeah. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you, th he is familiar with Barbados. Yeah. Right, Booker? Yes. That's where your family is from, right? Well, some, my my grandfather on my father's side, yes. Right, which is not 
Uh, yeah, but do the they speak word. Portuguese? No. They speak Barbados. In <laughs> it's, it, well, it's uh, until very recently, Barbados was a British colony. Oh, so they speak English. So they speak English, yes. With Eng British accents? No. <laughs> oh, so they're like us. Yeah, you know, like, like Caribbean accents. They speak just regular English. Without... Oh, just regular yeah. English, not well, English. Do it on. We don't well, want. That's I a question now. Not okay, thinking we want wait, to go wait, here. Wait. If okay in Barbados, if they speak English, okay, like in America, in New York, there's a certain sounding accent of English. In yes. Boston, there's a different kind. Down south, so there's a different one. California yeah. Valley girls. Do they have different dialects? No, it's just, it's, you know, it's a Caribbean, a strong Caribbean accent. It's a little more British sounding than other islands. Okay. But it's definitely a Caribbean accent. Okay, yeah. well, that's good. That's and would you want to live know, there? I, you know, I've never actually been there, and my family owns property there. Oh, oh, I think it's time for a trip to Barbados. It could be, could be. Yeah. Could yeah. be time for a trip. Yeah. Who can afford it now? <laughs> well, that's true. But remember, there's a big Powerball tomorrow. That's right. 40-something million. Some million. dollars, yeah. There you go. You can buy your yeah. own Azor. That's right. Bar yeah, are you no kidding. <laughs> <laughs> You could just like lock up one of those Azores, no problem. All good. This is uh, now, Tom has uh, the West Hampton Theater shut for the season. Is that right? I don't know. I'm asking him. Oh, you're asking. Uh, we have we a have couple of kids shows coming up, supposed to next week, but the uh, production manager hasn't gotten back to me. Um, and then the public shows are in March. We got a bunch. Oh, okay. So that's not getting so. closed down because of COVID. No, no. no. How many Tedeschi, seats at the place? At, at, well, what was that? Sorry. What'd you say, Steve? I said, how many seats is that place? Four hundred fifty. Mm. Wow, that's uh, that's a nice size yeah, place. Yeah, that is. I went to a Broadway play last night. What? Did you? What? Yeah. Where? The, <laughs> <laughs> on Broadway, Samuel J. Friedman Theater. Um, I saw a play called Skeleton Crew, stars Felicia Rashad. Oh, you're kidding me. Yeah. Oh, you see, this is what I wanted you to translate. Oh, he can't. Not to get off the track. Ivan Funkboy Bodley's playing uh, on Broadway. He's playing in the pit, subbing. Yeah. 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 Wait, Jersey Boys, right? Yes. Yes. Jersey Boys, that's right. Wow. How cool is that? Yeah. Pretty cool, I guess. Yeah, well, did you enjoy the play? Oh, it was great. The the same guy that I, that I remember I did promo for a play called Lackawanna Blues a couple of months ago, a few yeah. months ago. Right? The, the, the star and writer of that play directed this play. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. So you got the VIP treatment. No, I didn't actually get the tickets. My wife did. We, we, we have another, we have a friend who is Felicia's um, understudy in the play. And she wow. said, uh, and I said, you know, if you really wanted good seats, I could have called Ruben for us. And then we went and sat in the, and they were like, you know, fourth row center. So, Perfect. so she got pretty good seats. That's yeah, where we well, sat with uh, John uh, Entwistle for Tommy. They oh. had house seats that were like fourth row center, and it was yeah, like yeah. perfect. Yeah, that was uh, an extravaganza. Yeah, to and behold. Uh, Booker's wife has all those actor connections because she's uh, a director, yeah, and producer. Yeah. Well, pretty cool, man. Pretty, pretty cool. Yes. So, uh, yeah. do we have any memorable new? Uh, do we have any re resolutions? Uh, that'd be interesting to know. Anybody got Angus, resolutions? Angus, join the party. How about yeah, you? Yeah, all right, Angus. Uh, What's we'll start your resolution? with you. Wait, oh, excuse me, I got to puke. What are you, bulimic? <laughs> <laughs> Is he puking? 
looks like he's back in full house again. Oh I don't know where he went. You really want to know where he went? Does he have it like written down, or he has to look up a resolution? You know, I think. I can tell you this. I was in the gym this morning, and all those people that have made resolutions were in there this morning. I give him two weeks. <laughs> yeah. So, it's funny. I, you know, I think we ought to get an electric fence for Angus. <laughs> Keep the collar on. Shot collar. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because man. he looks at his phone and he goes, and then he's gone for 20 minutes. I know. Yeah, and, and you got to ask yourself, <coughs> what's on that phone? Yeah. Oh. <coughs> Oh, you Where got a you message. Go? You got a message to change to Chicago. <coughs> no, I had it on before. Oh, okay. Uh, so what happened to you, Angus? <laughs> hey, look, I'm having a little bit of an issue with my COPD. Oh, uh, no. Uh, so uh, I'm going to go for a second. Is to stop smoking oh, cigarettes. Hey, oh, wow. Nice. Thank you, Char, three times. Okay, yeah, cause they're not, I'm not getting stars in here. Well, yeah, oh, I don't think you can go. usually do your star thing when no, um, I can't do we have our free-for-all. Free for hey, no Lenny tonight. Yeah, where's Lenny? Well, I think Rich had him killed. Who's Rich? Rich Verge. Verge. Why? Aruba. They're in... I know. Oh, Rich is here. <laughs> they're in competing <laughs> idols. Yeah. Hey, there Hello. he is, man. Hey, hello, Aruba? sports fans. Welcome to New Year's Eve. Hey, Bert. Welcome to New Year's Eve. Yeah. Reporting in from Aruba. We made it through another year, guys. So far. Why? Is and it I think that's good. There? Yep. No, what time is it there? Uh, well, you know, I'm I'm living in the future. You guys are very quaint in the past. It's almost 830 here. Uh, well, here you know what? Here, check this out. Here... It is 25 after 11. That's the Azores. Yeah. Boy. Yeah. That's the, that's the Azores, at eight man. At 8 o'clock, it's going to be midnight. And at 8 o'clock, it's midnight there, and we're <laughs> celebrating with them. Okay. That yeah. sounds good to me. Yeah. Why not? So you playing tonight? Yeah, you playing? Oh, of course. Yeah, I'm at work. I'm at work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's not All like right. it's not like a party that goes till twelve. It's just a normal Friday evening gig, and uh, yeah, uh, so it allows me to get home, and we're gonna have uh, yeah some lovey dovey time back at the ranch tonight. <laughs> hey, I'm too young to hey, what's it. up, brother? Yeah. What's up, brother? <laughs> Uh, that's a good yeah. plan. That's a so good uh, plan. that's the plan because uh, you know the COVID, the the numbers here, boy, are fucking incredible and through the roof. I mean, when I say through the roof, they're not like New Jersey or Florida numbers. But the other day we had 692 wow. positives in one day. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a real lot because right. we we're getting like maybe nine, twelve. You know. Yeah. Uh, and to now. It just went crazy. And uh, uh, there's actually, they didn't cancel anything for New Year's, but uh, like the big parties they did, but like things like here at the restaurant, that's okay. Mm -hmm. But you know what, though? What you really have to look at with this is the hospitalization. That's what you got to look at because those aren't what they were in the beginning of the pandemic or even with the last variant. Right. So, and this looks like it's the way it's going. It's going to burn itself out in a month. Uh, well, they, they with that, uh, there's positive news from South Africa. You know that. Yeah, they uh, said they burned. Like the uh, symptoms weren't as severe, and there was less hospitalizations, like you say, bro. Right. Yeah, and said, and they said that the numbers are way down now too. So it it is burning itself out. Yeah, Which yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it, uh, yeah, it's just scary here. You know, we got one hospital. Ooh. Yeah. So uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, but uh, they don't want anyone to lose money. Last year, man, shit was locked down. Uh, you know, I, I I I saw places during the lockdown here where it was uh, the the island had no flights. There was nobody in Palm Beach. I don't know if you guys ever, you know, I mean, it's like South Beach in Miami. It's uh, you know, nobody, not even a stray dog. But um, 
It's not doing that now. And there's a lot of people here. Let me tell you, there's a lot of people. Places are full, full, full. Yeah. Well, but, uh, no. Yeah. Well, you know, that's hey, listen. What are they do? Let's talk about something that's cheery. We made it all the way. Yeah, Cheers. we did. Yes, we so, did. Uh, here's to the best 2022 to all you guys, okay? Yes, absolutely, bro. I yes. gotta get back on. Yeah. Uh, I'm taking a, a a little long break, you know. Uh, anyway, I, but I've, uh, taken those. I've taken those. Hey, man! Happy New Year, Rich. Happy New, New Year, Year. Rich. thank you, thank you guys. Year. Thanks thank for coming. You. By. Thank you, bro. Okay, thank you for having me. See you. Let's right. see if I can disconnect. I don't know. Take it easy <laughs> going home. <laughs> hey, hey, Mouse. Mouse. Hey, Hi, Mouse. guys. Hi, oh, how's yeah. everybody? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can hear me? Okay. No gig tonight? Um, I had a gig, which I um, tried to gracefully sidestep. It's just, it's too effing crazy here, bro. It's just too insane. And I have to tell you, and it's one of my favorite bands, um, Milo Z, which is like a hardcore. Oh, I- you know Milo, right? I know Milo when JoJo was still in the band. Yeah, what happened? Yeah. I, I, I JoJo, you know, I see him every once in the blue moon. Really? You know, but to me, it's not Milo Z without JoJo. JoJo, exactly. He was the bass player, and he yeah. was like, just like talk about bringing the funk to the party. And I don't know what the deal was, but because I I love JoJo. And then their old keyboard player, who was their musical director, Scott Rush, said to me, he goes. You know, Massey, JoJo really loves you. And I said, oh, I love JoJo. And he goes, no, Mass. I mean, like, he wants to, like, marry you, loves you. <laughs> so I was <laughs> like, okay. But, yeah, um, but uh, I have to tell you, first of all, it's out in Sussex County, New Jersey, which is, like, the northwestern part of New Jersey, out by Lake. Mm-hmm. And, and it's kind of, um, oh, God, I don't know how to say this politically correctly, but it's kind of like the... Um, New Jersey version of Arkansas Ooh. out there. So <laughs> there's like a lot of people who just uh, don't believe that this whole thing is real. And I see. And, okay. uh, you know, refuse to get vaccinated and refuse to wear masks. And, you know, it's just <clears throat> I literally at this point in time, besides the fact that I'm going back to work at my old hospital tomorrow, um, and I've just been hearing stories, but I literally don't know one person who doesn't have someone in their family that doesn't have COVID right now. It's unbelievable. That's nuts, man. All right, All right now I'm back. Hi, Angus. Hey, what's up, Mousy? How are you? I'm doing good. How about you? I'm okay. So I, I sidestepped the gig tonight, although, Joe, you will be happy to know um, that the Flying Muller Brothers are still doing the super spreader event down at uh, Seaside Heights, New Jersey. <laughs> so they're like, we don't care. They're doing it. You know, uh, I was gonna, I was gonna say we should talk about what our craziest New Year's Eve gigs were. And for me, Impact was one of them. I have Always. a few, but uh, I have a crazy Impact New Year's Eve story. But I have a friend who has been promoting his gig for tonight over the last couple of weeks, and then yesterday announced that he couldn't go because he's been hospitalized. Oh. So, and you know, I don't know what the whole story is, but you know, he's uh, in that Sussex County group. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, I have another friend in Pennsylvania who said he'd rather die than get the shot. Okay. Angus, you all right? Yeah. You okay? Yeah, it's all good. Gentlemen, okay. late but never counted out. Jeff Sites? No. Uh, Jeff was is it uh, Jimi Hendrix. Yes, it is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it should be Joni Mitchell. <laughs> it is jo- oh, 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 no. Joni. Oh, yeah. look at this. Oh, he's out in the world. <laughs> hey, brother. Hi, guys. Hey, hey. hey. hi, Joe. Are you at the barbecue place? Yeah, we are, we're at a we're at a New Year's uh, New, New Year's Year. Eve party. Hey, uh, to, uh, say Happy New Year to everybody. Oh, man. Happy, New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Hey, Steve. 
Hey, Lori. Hey, Happy New Year. Lenny. Who else we got? That's the age. Hey, Tom. Hi, nice. Tom. Hey, Lenny. Oh, we've got a whole bunch of people. Hi, Mousy. Hi, Len. Guess... How are you? And Joe. Joe. Is that Mount Kilimanjaro there? <laughs> uh, no, it's the Azores. Yeah, this is our live stream. This is our live stream from the Azores. Like it's almost Happy May. New Year. Wow, they look, they look like they're having a party in a hat. <laughs> look, we even got a baby. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, you're dead. That's, That's the baby we were holding earlier on Facebook, right? Baby. Anyway, New Year's baby. Those are some of my buddies. Happy New Year. I don't know. Wow. I'll see you guys later. Okay. Yeah, see you next year. Bye. Bye. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Happy New Year Len. Okay. Hey, Len. <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty crazy here in terms of COVID. Like it's it's nuts. Yeah, you know you're. you're I want to hear the story, now, Joe. I want to hear the story, the New Year's Eve story. Oh, I've, I'll bet my impact New Year's Eve story topped yours, but you go first. No, I guarantee yours would top mine. And I am I would have to even sort through my memories to really put it all together. I just, I can see the picture. I remember, you know, a lot of my New Year's Eves, we would play places that weren't our normal um, uh, place. It'd be some club that wanted to build a following or, you know, so they'd, they'd pay extra money to get this yeah. band in to try to build uh you know get i don't know increase their uh their uh, uh, awareness but uh so we played somewhere i don't remember where it was i know it was like south jersey and it was not on our normal club dates and uh of course the guy who owned it was a little sketchy you know and uh, we set sure. everything up and it, it was unfamiliar territory but it was packed all the impact people came and all their fans came but the guy who owned it was kind of mobbed up and he had his mother and uh, his family in a round table right in front of, you know, stage right stack. Right. So, you know, we start and of course it's too loud, you know, for his mother, you know, and, and I started doing the Sam Kennison thing, like move to where the sound isn't like literally, yeah. you know, there was other parts of the room that weren't that loud, but you know, it, and so there was a bit of a, um, hassle with this guy throughout the night because he insisted that you know his mother had to sit right in front of the speakers but you know we had a volume issue so <laughs> but it's not one of my better impact stories oh, my, well my, there, there my, are my, many. i have i have donnie and carl stories that still won't match yours but some are actually very similar like your your 42nd street story i have that exact oh, show same world story of the deep show? yeah I, that was with Donnie with you, but with me it was Carl. We went to we went to 48th Street to get drumsticks. And then uh and then somehow we ended up in, you know, uh, similar to what your experience yeah, yeah. was. But go ahead, tell us yours. We were playing at a tiny club in Mawa, New Jersey, on Franklin Turnpike. Nobody's called, in? Nobody's in. Right. Okay, so this is a place that was like an old school, like roadhouse kind of bar. And then, you know, like everyone else, when the drinking age turned 18 in the late 70s, everybody decided they're having live music. The place, I'm going to say, what do you think, Max? 150 people, Joe? Maybe right, Max? It wasn't very big, but they packed small, it. And they packed it. So um, there was this, this penchant for certain people in the impact arena to dose people. So oh. you so you never would like if somebody would come up and say, hey, want some of my soda? You go, um, yeah, no. <laughs> but or you'd say, yeah, sure. So when I tell you uh, sometime around midnight, every single person in that club was tripping balls. I mean, like the bartenders, the bouncers, the the, the owner, 
like like every person in there and it was spilling out into the parking lot and you know I, i'm sure there were cops there that were tripping at that point and they just kept letting more and more people in and one girl has like i guess a bad experience you'd say and she starts freaking out because you know how they have all the um streamers you know that they throw and everything this girl is freaking out because she's being attacked by spiders and spider webs. And she's just like, oh, I got to get out of these spider webs. Like, like comes up, flies into the, there's no stage in the place. The band is actually like playing on the floor with people, you know, dancing in front yeah. of them. It's so tiny. And she comes in and she does like a whole like Keith Moon into the drum kit thing. Where uh -oh. <laughs> are flying everywhere and we're just all laughing and of course me even though i'm tripping too being like the mouse mom i'm like where are the fire exits what are we going to do if anything happens in here how are we going to get out of here alive? and finally i turn to the 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 letting and i'm like you know what? i just got to get the fuck out of here now i have a family like <laughs> you know and i got and, and left to go drive to see like the hampton roads band on acid along franklin turnpike and yeah it was like and at the end of the night um Carl just came out and poured lighter fluid all over his fucking drums and set them on fire. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. Yeah. That's time that's, for everybody to go home now. That's going okay, out well, there. Wait, wait, wait. We have one of our viewers that says tripping question mark. I don't guess he knows what that means. So how do we explain that to him? Tripping is mm. what happens when you take psychedelic LSD drugs. Or, oh. yeah. Uh, yeah. It was all LSD. We had, <laughs> We yeah, had a, a friend who um, would get this liquid acid that uh, we called it magical liquid, la magical drops. And we literally tripped every night for like three months straight. And then one day ran out of acid. And we all looked at each other and we go, how are we going to do this show tonight? <laughs> it was like, I'm not kidding. It was like, we'd be like, oh, we're so tired. Don't worry. The magical liquid will help us get through. And then that's what you do when you're like, you know, 19 or 20 years old or whatever. Like, yeah, yeah that, that'll help. And I was, I was doing that same band at Mother's one night and the uh, saxophone player had been dosed or was tripping. And, and he came off the stage and called the lighting guy over and had a heated discussion with him. And so the lighting guy came back because, you know, sound and lights were right next to each other. And I was like, and I might have been Arthur, but I said, I said, what did he say? He said, I can't put any blue light on him. He only wants yellow light on him. And I was like, why? He said, the blue light's cold and he can't move his valves. His valves were freezing. That sounds like Lenny. Yeah. He, the <laughs> valves were freezing in the blue light. So he had to be in yellow light because otherwise he couldn't play. You know, typical band problems that you have. That's that's a, that was a normal night with that band. Yeah, exactly. Wow. It was kind of like you know, I I felt like okay, what rabbit hole did I fall down today? I'm like Alice tumbling down. Like, what's going to happen now? One time, somebody decided we were having a, a fireworks show in the parking lot of some place on a break. It's like, all right, everybody outside. And the club owner's like, what, what? what? And they're like, no, no, fireworks. It's gonna be good. And he's like, no, this is against the law. We're like in some little shore town in New Jersey or something. And they're like, no, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. And the entire club empties out into the parking lot on the break to do like an impromptu fireworks show. And of course the colors are like, Wah! <laughs> <laughs> Not to mention the trails. Yeah, exactly. They lasted. Yeah, yeah. that's, you know, that's... that's uh... I had a summer um, in high school. My best friend had a neighbor, and he was dealing, and he had bags of, like, um, four windows of window pane and orange sunshine and... Um, purple Osley. So it would be like, what do you want today? So every day we did like you did. Every day <laughs> we were tripping. So we were like up to doing whole four way hits of uh, window pane, you know? And then all of a sudden it was like, I could feel things kind of chomping on my brain. And something told me if you do this one more time, you might not be normal. So I said, that's it. I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> Fun summer. <laughs> It was a fun summer. Yeah. I wasn't there. You know, and it occurred, <laughs> you know, I, I have a special, 
uh, you know, you, you tell some great stories. And without Laurie, I, I don't know how much of a show I would have. But I, I decided to, uh, you know, show you what, what it is that she does up here. Um, she hates that I show pictures of her, but I thought maybe you'd enjoy seeing this one. Uh, what is this? What? <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, you know she got the keyboard and it's right it's you know. It's just, you know I want <laughs> pop into the view for a second. That's my that's my girl. Yeah, that's that's my girl. That's. <laughs> So let's see. What else? So no resolutions, nothing. That we, we don't know resolutions. And Booker. here's my my resolution. I'm just going to survive one more year. One. That's all I'm asking at this Same point. Resolution is every year. Yep, yep. Okay. Well, let's get back to trip and tell them what you did to Larry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're all living in the top of a man of an old like a bootlegger's mansion in the Hamptons. When they were. This is 70, 70, 71. The house band. Talk about being dosed. <laughs> and this was a place that in 1969 made the papers in New York because they had punch and all of these high-end snooty, you know, the Harry Hamptons with the, the outfit, the navy jacket and the, and the khaki <laughs> pants and the boat deck shoes and, you know, a million dollars in cash in his pocket. And they freaking dosed the punch with LSD, and all these people were like walking around out in the street on Montauk Highway. <laughs> so, you know, we, I thought maybe we'd carry on the tradition. We had some acid, and my roadie uh, at the time, Bobby, I said, Bobby, you want to uh, want to do something cool? And he said, What? And I said, Well, let's take some acid and go to sleep and wake up tripping. And he said. Uh, he said, oh, okay. So I said, well, I wonder if Larry would want to, you His know, keyboard the keyboard player. player. Like, you know, he was our Keith Moon. So we knock on the door, and Larry's drunk. We're knocking on the door. He thinks somebody's in his closet, right? He comes to the door. He goes, what is it? We said, we're going to take some acid and go to sleep. Want something? He goes, okay. Put it in his mouth. We all go to sleep, right? And all of a sudden, I hear, like, somebody building Noah's Ark. And I'm like, I'm, I don't know where I am. My room is dark. And, so, and it's, I finally saw it out because now the acid's starting to come on. And I'm awake and it's like, whoa. And I go to the door and Larry's at the door going. <laughs> 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 and I said, what's the matter, man? And he goes, I don't know. I just feel so weird. I don't know. I, I said, Larry, don't you remember we, we said we were going to give you some acid and go to sleep? You're you're tripping. And he went, oh. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> That's what it was. Oh, I, I knew it was something. Oh. Yeah, I've... I've okay. uh, yeah, that's... that's uh, Yeah, that's pretty gospel true. Acid... Uh, I tell you another thing. Same band, different, uh, different uh, chair. <laughs> we had a sound man that was like just. He, oh. see, you've heard me tell you the story of of, of uh, the Brill Building and sneaking us in there and uh, in '68 to record and all that and getting fired as a result. But um, he also had some connections in the underworld, and he was going up to Boston to pick up, I think, a thousand hits of 850 mics of real sunshine, the real orange sunshine. What orange do they call barrels. it? The, yeah, the yeah. tall ones, right? Yeah, the barrels. And he says, uh, and he goes up there, right, and he cops it, and he whatever, I don't know how much it is, you know, this is going back to the 60s or the 70s. And uh, he's sitting on a bench waiting for a bus, Right, let's let's take a thousand hits of acid <laughs> on the bus <laughs> back to New York, back to New York from Boston. From Boston yeah. And he said, Ah, you know what? And he I, had hair down to his ass. Yeah, long I mean, hair long, down to his ass. hair, like just just like and <laughs> yes. kind, of, kind of frail and yeah. So he and, didn't uh, stand up. <laughs> and so, and he says, You know, I I I hate this bus ride. I think I'm gonna one of these tabs and he hits it right and he's sitting there for an hour hour and a half you know because he's just waiting for the bus 
and nothing happens and he gets pissed and he thinks he's gets ripped off right he says this takes another one waits another half hour and nothing happens and then he takes two oh. <laughs> all of a sudden here comes the parade and he sat on that bench for three days and nights without <laughs> <laughs> all the movie with a thousand hits of acid, 900, 996 hits of acid in his pocket. Oh God! True story. Uh, so there. And he didn't get busted, and he made it back. <laughs> yeah, nobody probably wanted to go near him. I can't imagine. Yeah, sad. probably. <laughs> so Steve, you could I sing have that to on the bus. Ninety nine, nine, nine hundred nine. How many was it? What did you say? It was. 999 hits of acid on the wall. 999. <laughs> the, the, the typical school bus song that it's you sing. It's the bus song. You got to sing it, right? Yeah, that's it. What are you going to oh, say now? The whole bus. So I have a question for you because I, I have to tell you, um, we always had a nickname for Larry. Larry and, McGowan? Yes. Yeah. Got a few. And, um, no, no, no. So, um, and, sadly and because he was that kind of guy you know that just exuded this you know like vibe and I remember him coming up to me at Detroit once when I was uh, an LD and he came up to me and he kept saying why don't you have a chair I said no I don't sit down he said to me the lights are so beautiful he kept saying to me they just look amazing the lights are just he goes this is incredible what you do and I'm like okay, you are like, you know, this amazing keyboardist, whatever. So we had this mutual admiration society going on. But we had this nickname for him because he was so flamboyant yes. and on stage. And, you know, we used to wave to people in the crowd that I don't even know if they were actually there, but he would be like, hey. He would see the seeing them, whether they were there or not. <laughs> <laughs> so when I said to my husband, I said, oh, I said, I just saw sad news on Facebook today. And he said, what? And I said, Larry McGowan, McGowan passed away. And he said to me, who's Larry McGowan? And I said, Larry. And he, he said, he said again, and my husband's a keyboard player. So like, you know, he knew. And then I said to him, Tremaine. And he goes, oh no, Tremaine died. Do you, you have to know what I'm talking about, right, Steve? I don't know what you Tremaine, mean. I'm not sure that I do. Tremaine, the, I, from a Star Trek episode. Do you remember? Oh, okay, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Without question. Okay, so that was for the rest of you guys. Larry McGowan was like six foot four, gay as Elton John, and used to wear the glasses like Elton John. In every kind of, in every and color. And silver right oh. shirts. And that, yeah, he was kind of like the, the 80s, 70s version of Liberace. Yeah, and he had <laughs> platform sneakers. Yep. He would dance. He would in dance. The set. I mean, and he could actually, I mean, he really, he was a big dude, but he could, he, he was my size. I mean, big, you know, 6'3", six, 6', six, whatever, and a little uh, more brawny kind of, you know, yeah, more he was stocky dead. than I was. Yeah. But he could dance like, man, it was like, like you were watching one of those, Prilosec commercials or whatever. <laughs> uh, and his keyboard setup, his keyboard setup was instead of in front or you know around him or from side to side. Yeah. So he, he had like an open. He was like a lead player in front of you know, not oh, like yeah. behind the keyboards or yeah. behind the drum kit kind of guy. And I'm telling you, there were times when we used to just go and get high and just watch Larry and laugh the entire fucking night. Like, it would, it's like we would just be like, "Oh, let's go see the keyboard dude from Rally." All right, let's go. He was. I mean, you got you know for the for ten years for the ten prime years, he was my absolute best friend. I right. Mean, we you know. <laughs> um, and and we were so dangerous together. I, I remember the, the night we were going to the night before we were going to go out to the Hamptons. We had an idea that we were going to get we we got a whole lot of pot, like a quarter of a pound was going to supposed to last us the whole summer. And we said, let's stay up all night and roll it all into joints. So now we've got like six thousand joints in those red, white, and blue papers. And, <laughs> I, I can't even the the, the Larry stories. Oh, the it, seeds I, and the just, truck. <laughs> we're, we're we're going on our first road trip, 1969. We rent this freaking. Thank you, Joe Cass. Thank you. Yes, I I can't make it happen because I'm in the wrong okay, place. But well, thank I'll you, Joe. Um, and we're going on our first excursion 
to uh, Vermont. Now, nobody thought of how are we all going to get there. None of us had cars or any of that shit. And, but we rented a, a, a box truck, like an 18-foot box truck, and we had lots of roadies and lots of guys in the band. Everybody think, wanted to hang out. And, uh, and we said, well, wait a minute. How are we going to get to Vermont? How are we going to get to Vermont? They said, ah, it's right in the back of the truck, right? With the gear. With the gear. <laughs> this is like January. We're going to Vermont. So we ride for about maybe a half hour, and the light goes out. So now we're in the frickin' dark, right? So we're banging on the window, banging on the window, pull over, pull over, bang. And they said, what's going on? We said, it's, you know, it's dark back here. It's like <laughs> we're, we're in the frickin' dark. It's bad enough that we're cold and we're sitting on drum cases and, you know, everything else. Yeah, but you're a kid. <laughs> so, yeah, but you know what? So they said, well, there's nothing we can do about it. You know, we can't, you know, we can't, I don't know, you know what you want us to do. The light's out, it's out. So we decide, all right, we'll go to sleep. And Larry, if you remember, um, had one of those keyboard covers that went over the B3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It had the two, uh, the handle, you know, the, the things that... Yeah, the holes for the handles, right. yeah. And, and it's, well, as it turned out, what a beautiful place that was to crawl under and have your own little dwelling, right? <laughs> Where it would heat up from the body heat, and he's under there. And I used to have a problem with Larry because he would... He would never clean his pot. Back then, there was lots of seeds and sticks. Lots of seeds. Yeah. And I said, you know, man, I don't like this. It's burning my shirt. You know, one day it's going to be a problem for you. Ah, you just want to bitch at me. And so all of a sudden, we're, you know, we're about 15, maybe 20 minutes into the dark ride. And I start to smell, is that pot? Is that pot that I smell? And I'm thinking, son of a bitch, somebody back here has a joint and they're not sharing it with me. <laughs> what? And then all of a sudden I start smelling something else, right? And I'm and it's it's pot, but there's something like equipment cover mixed in with it. <laughs> and I come out, I, I tried to build myself a little igloo with and Larry popped a seed and it lit the frickin' organ cover on fire. Oh my god. <laughs> So yeah, we're, banging, just... we're banging on the door. You got to pull over. And pull they smoke. <laughs> and they came and they opened up the back of the door and we threw the thing out and there's a cop behind us. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's like right out of a Blues Brothers movie. Oh, it's, it's oh, insane. Yeah. <laughs> And, and it was well we and we said well okay and he said well all right listen you guys can't ride back here we said oh you know I mean we're all kids I mean I think I was sixteen oh well we didn't know uh, you know so he said, anybody coming to kid anybody else come yeah oh, yeah the rest of our friends are coming in a station wagon and uh, we'll wait for them and he Walker said, yeah, I think yeah. you remember we told the story he was the one that stole the magic fingers stole from the magic the fingers oh, out. No? yeah yeah. yeah. <laughs> That would have been loud. I, I tell you, there was a, the last time, and Mouse, you'll love this because he was, you know, I mean, if you knew him well enough, and... Uh, he was so over the top. He, so, and, and not... He... Uh, I said, he, he had this coat, right? And it looked like a bear coat, but it was not real. Was, you know the coat I'm talking yes, about? I know exactly which one you're talking about. <laughs> this thick, horrible, fake fur... <laughs> Matted, like kind of matted down, and a friend of mine says, "Would you guys like to go skiing?" <laughs> and I said, "Well, a doctor I'll, friend, I'll, yeah, a doctor friend of mine." He said, I said, "Well, we we don't know how to ski." He said, "Ah, it's easy. We we'll take you to Vernon Valley. It's easy. You know, you you guys will have a good time. We go there and we and we uh, stand on the stupid line for hours waiting to rent these fucking skis, and so we get on the chairlift, right and and everything's fine. Larry's on the freaking chairlift, no With problem, right? With his coat and his, you know, his rented stuff. And we get to the top and he goes, uh, how come they're not stopping for those people? And I said, they don't stop for anybody. And he said, what do you mean they don't stop for anybody? I said, I said you're about to learn how to ski in two minutes. And he, I said, just watch what everybody else is doing. That's what we'll do. Right, we didn't think and maybe we should go up. jumping off that chair lift. We yeah. didn't think we should go with somebody that knows what's going on. So Larry goes right off the thing and crashes into the the just goes straight right into the the hose house wherever whatever it is and oh dislocates his arm. Right. <laughs> 
down the mountain. never got down never got down the mountain once right so I, I said well and and the guy's son was there and he said look I'll stay with him the doctor's go ahead son. and enjoy you know and so, knew how to ski. so I'm snow plowing my way down this freaking hill right <laughs> And it takes, you got to take me 45 minutes to get down. I go all the way back up and I go, I go down again and I see something ahead of me and it looks like a giant stuffed animal <laughs> wrapped in gauze on the sled of the ski patrol. <laughs> and they're taking him, and he's like, he's in there doing this. You remember the wave? <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Holy Christmas, oh man. Oh my God. I that can't is tell hilarious. You. Oh, I oh, can't hilarious. tell you. And as a result of that, his arm was always a problem. And we were playing Gildersleeves in Greenwood Lake, right? And <laughs> Larry's, you know, I mean, he it would dislocate and, and it would like pop right there with the freakiest freaking thing oh, ever right so we're on greenwood lake and this guy says listen you guys are welcome to stay at my house my parents are away <laughs> we have a we have a motorboat i mean you know come on let's get crazy so we stay at this guy's house right and beautiful house right on the lake and his pet raccoon comes in about you know 4 30 in the morning i'm playing with the thing and he comes upstairs i said your, your, your raccoon is really cool no 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 Afro. Jan, you, were, you must remember Jan, the light guy with the big afro. That yeah, used to he, dance. he would dance all the time. He was sleeping on the yeah. living room floor, and I meet this raccoon, and I'm and wired, and everybody else is drunk or gone. Yeah, so you had the I'm, coke. So <laughs> I, I got some bread, and I was sticking it in Jan's afro. afro. And, and the raccoon would come over, and he'd get it, you know what oh. I mean, and he'd eat it. And Jan would be like, you know, come on, man, what are you doing? Right, and he's whacking the thing in his hands, and and and. Uh, and so then the guy who owns the house comes up, and I said, "Man, your raccoon's really cool." He said, "That's not my raccoon. That thing's wild." Runs out the door. <laughs> the next... Meanwhile, I was picking bread out of Jan's hair. So the next... <laughs> so the next... What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> so the next day we go down to take this guy's boat for a ride, right? I mean, it's <laughs> within two or three minutes, <clears throat> we blew the motor, right? And this, you and Larry. The, yeah. yeah. Me, me and, Larry. and so we're floating around and you got to wait for the lake patrol to come. And it's like, oh, holy shit, what now? And Larry goes, well, we didn't even get to go swimming. And he jumped, he jumps out of the boat when they tow us back. He gets on the the pier, little pier thing, and goes diving off the end of the pier into about three feet of water. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. And he gets up going, oh, oh! <laughs> yep. And his oh. arm came out, and he has to give us his other arm. We're trying to drag him up. So he blew up the guy's uh, dad's boat. So he blew up the <laughs> Was Larry the guy you were in the car with coming yeah. back from... Connecticut, and then you fell asleep, and you ended up like on 84 in Pennsylvania. Or something. We're on 84, we were on 84 yeah. in Stores, Connecticut, up up where the it was a Shabu Inn, where where Yukon is, and and the, when we finally woke up, I saw a sign that said "Welcome to Pennsylvania." We were in Port Jervis. We went past 684. Oh, wow, <laughs> you were out there. Nine seventeen two eighty seven. Wait, wait, wait. I mean, Larry kept having to pull yeah, over because his it was ah, man. It's a funny story. We I, I was asleep for so long in this car. We were at, we were at the this game. Hold on, we got twenty seconds. We got twenty seconds. Oh shit! Oh, oh wow! Yeah, fifteen. Oh, people of the Azores. <laughs> there you <he> go. <laughs> They're behind us. What is that? They are behind us. I don't know what happened. They're like gotta, 30 seconds late. We got to fix them up here. All right, we're counting down. Oh, oops. Good job, Joe. I'm catching I think that. they're on a delay. So, uh, here we go. Yeah, we should have put somebody in charge of a. Uh, Eight, five, seven, six, six five, 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 three, two, one. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I'll tell you why I'm not there.
they're, they're rocking in the Azores. Happy, Happy New Year, Azores. Look at them. Oh. Thank you. Happy New Year. Yeah. Oh, Meanwhile, my God. Uh, one of our uh, one uh, of our super fans, Gail, said, "Let's go till eight thirty, please." Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, can anybody find another eight ball? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, listen, Very kids, perfect. all you kids Good. watching, don't do any of this stuff we've been talking about this hour. No. <laughs> right? no, this all this is just can. seltzer water. There was so, a uh, you know. Yeah, this is in it. I tell you what, Miley Cyrus and Pete Davidson's having a New Year's Eve special tonight at yeah. Tinker from Miami. And I bet <laughs> they're going to be doing some Miley. I can't wait to see what that's about. <laughs> yeah, my God. I'm recording that <clears throat> shit. Yeah, so. <laughs> So, Joe, that's that particular story was we were coming home from Stores, Connecticut. It had to be a, a six hour drive because uh, 84 didn't even go all that way yet. And God, we're not was, done with the road yet. You just gotta... <laughs> yeah, we just kept going. Stop. But it, I remember because it was 72 because uh, because Larry was driving his sister's Pinto. Right. Perfect. And every 10 or 12 miles or so, you started hearing slow down, and, you know, and it was like, what the hell is this? And then you'd hear the door open, door close, the hood would open, you'd feel the car rock back and forth like this a few times, then you'd get back in and drive away. And if you, you know, I wasn't going to wake up all the way, so it's, I don't need to wake up all Had the way. Had no blow. And, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we're done. Six days, we don't budget that well. So... <laughs> This starts to happen time after time after time after time. And it's happened so many times that, you know, the next time it happens, I got to know what it is, right? So here it is. I go over to the side of the road, right? And I hear the hood go up, and I look underneath the hood, you know, between the dashboard and section, and Larry is sitting on the fender of his car, kicking the alternator back because it's loosened up, he has no tools, and it's slipping into the fan. <laughs> and I, I, I wanted to get I think you got to be almost home I've been sleeping so long I'm not tired anymore and I said what's the matter Larry man your car bumming you out welcome to Pennsylvania <laughs> what <laughs> oh I like Booker's pasture oh yeah Booker's got the pasture nice. very nice yeah where without people <laughs> yeah. Wow. This wow. is uh, Azores pasture. It's the same wow. mountain. Wow. He always, he never disappoints, Joe. Yeah, I went yeah. for the, I went for the. Well, that's the wrong one. That's not, I didn't go for that. I don't know what I went for there, but that's not it. I didn't work at a pasture this time. I went. Well, you got to I that, went huh? for the. Well, I <laughs> This, that's still talking in the other room. Oh. oh. So I went for the eternal pasture. And I'm surprised Jeff Seitz isn't in here. He was texting Steve. Yeah. Said, I'm looking at time zones around the world, and he's yeah. finally wants And he, he texted me last night, and he said, uh, you know, are you gigging? Because I, I, when I talked to him a couple yeah. of days ago, I was like, oh, I'm on the fence, you know, and then, like, the numbers are just rolling in, and I'm like, what am I, insane? Like after <laughs> surviving, working at the hospital through an entire pandemic, taking, you know, and then living through the rest of the bullshit, no gigs, no, I go, I'm going to go out there for, you know, like I said, out to the Arkansas version of New Jersey to get yeah. COVID and bring it back to everyone at this point. I was like, yeah, no, but I, but I was assuming that he was going to be here because he said to me, you know, we're not only is. We're not moving, he said. But aren't isn't Kentucky right now in the path of some really bad weather? Yes, yeah. Oh, I again? Can, yeah. Again? It's not, like, yeah, to Tennessee, Kentucky. It's coming up through that like whole uh, Ohio Valley thing. That 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 big nasty storm that just came through from you know the floods of California and the snow. Yeah, and then Denver was on fire. Yeah, like, yeah. 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 Yeah, I had friends who were at that fire yesterday. Because their uh, their sons were there, they were visiting, and then they had to get on a plane this morning. So they were sending me pictures of the smoke and the flames, and the, it was crazy. 
it looks and it happened like really fast a crater yeah. hits yeah. like an yeah. area just perfect circle of like an entire you know like nothing right. nothing like fire yeah. all around and people in the costco trying to get out screaming with their kids and i'm like why are you taking your kids out and there's smoke they can't see in the parking lot it's just yeah. bye bye 2021 bye 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 now bye bye 2021 see ya let's hope 2022 isn't 2020 too it's okay it's not nah, it's not it's not gonna be that but i gotta i gotta make you laugh now because i worked on this part of the show he's been working on this thing since before i Christmas I, Eve. I swore that booker was gonna know how to read portuguese i just said that <laughs> <laughs> told me so i just i i want you to see this because there are there are credits in this okay yes. I, I did put some credits okay. in here. <laughs> i gotta find it out i gotta see where where they are but i did get the i did get the, com the country to come up well here we go okay so now let's try to let's try to uh Let's try and diagnose these credits if you can, okay? Because, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I was planning on asking uh, Booker to translate. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe he can help. Okay. Uh, you know, maybe he can help. Okay, so all right, here, here we come. This is from Vista de San Miguel, and here we are. All right. Obrigado is thank you. So, other uh, Thank you for, for... Some webcam. Right. Yeah. Yes. For connecting, connect our. Uh, okay. 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 Right. So Thank you for connecting to our hotel. Okay. There yeah. you go. Thank you very All much. Right. See, together we can do this. <laughs> okay. Now we got another one. Here we go. Ready? Come on. I got those bottom two lines. Yes. Too long. I'll rock and roll show and tell. Okay, here we go. How about this? Oh, so uh, a yeah. special thanks to our producer of the show, Gary. Yeah. Right. right. Very, very good. Nice. Wow. Very, very good. Six years very of good. Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So okay. Here we go. Here we go. And let's see. This took me like a fucking hour. <laughs> <laughs> one more special. Oh yeah. Okay. One more special for. Uh, for thank you, Miguel Azores. Yeah. Azores. Yep. Thank for you, showrunner. Show okay. Angus McEachern. Hey, Yay, Angus. <laughs> and then one. You know, I did this with the translator. And here's the one you're going to love. Oh, thank Are you, Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> for, <translating, laughs> for translating these messages. The messages. <laughs> and, thank you, Booker King, for yeah, translating and, it. It said so Burger they, King. <laughs> so they, but they finally got it right. Oh, they fought up oh, so sorry. Oh my god. So sorry. So sorry. We're gonna have to um get mousy in oh, there. Oh god, yeah. Well well then yeah, that's just I was Oh man. Oh god. I was man, I was just having I've been this has been one of our viewers, Frank Feeney, says fries with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Don't eat the know, apple I, pies. They're too hot. <laughs> it's as quick as I could get to, uh, uh, it's as close as we could get to the edge. Went, Look, I said Booker King, and uh, it yeah. came up Burger King. Because I use that, <laughs> I use that translator, you know? Um, in Got to yeah. be careful with those things. <laughs> yeah. Man, and yeah. It's, I said, very special thank you to Booker King for translating these messages. And it came out, obligato Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> Got to do it. Yeah. Got to do it. That was right. well, I think that. Uh... Uh, I tell you all what, right. I say this all the time on Fridays, but this is as normal as we can possibly. Oh, wait. No. Wait. Subject. What? Uh, did anybody watch the show last night by any chance? No, I, 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 I watched like 10 minutes of it, but... I learned something new about gear. 
I had a guy on that works for Claire Brothers. Felix Robinson. Felix Robinson. He used to be the bass player in Angel. <laughs> Steer- okay. Sound. Have we heard of this? Steerable sound? No. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Of course, Jack. Yeah. <laughs> Who is it, Jeff? We should. Yeah, we should all just be on the ground, passed oh, out. Christ. Oh, here he comes. Oh, here he comes. Really? <laughs> I don't know. Be on till eight thirty. Comes on. I already have my pasture up. Yeah, you got, yeah. yeah right. Okay, so I had mine. Yours. I can put mine back. Hey! Oh, for God's sake. Hey. On time is late. It's New Year's, not St. Patty's Day. Okay. Oh! <laughs> You're late. <laughs> I'm right by it. Ah, I got the timing all wrong. My oh, tour cool. manager, my tour manager abandoned me. Well, I can't blame her. Oh. You mean mom left? Wow, you got bumped. Well, yeah. here we're, we, could, we could do it. We could do it with you again. <laughs> Happy New Year! <laughs> <laughs> well, where are you in the Central Time Zone? Nashville. Nashville. Oh. Nashville. He lives in Nashville. Oh, all right. Right yeah. over the border, actually. It's really close to Eastern time zone, so some places get us messed up. Wow. Well, maybe if you drive to one of the other places, you can catch up with us. <laughs> Hi, Lori. Hi, Booker. Hi, hey, Joe. Jeff. Hi, Angus. Hey, Hi, Rich. Hi, Mousy. Hi, Steve. Jeffrey. Hello. Yeah. I had the 8 o'clock Azores thing in my head, and I thought we were getting on at 8, and then I thought to myself, wait a minute, if we only get on at 8, then we're going to miss it. We almost missed they're it. Already, they're already <laughs> going nuts. Anyway. Check, check them out, bro. Look at They're going nuts in the Azores. Yeah. <laughs> Who would have thought, man? I'm telling you, they get they get serious down there. It's This is, it's, they're nuts. They, Has anybody ever been there? No, but I'm going to go. Next yeah, year, oh, we're all meeting there. We're next all going. Year, that's our <laughs> next year New Year's Eve show. Yeah. We're on our way. All right. Booker's going to be uh, serving delicious <laughs> Burger King for us. <laughs> oh man, oh, it's gonna be man. epic, bro. It's gonna be epic. It really is, oh. and we'll and we'll all know how to speak Portuguese by the time we get there. <laughs> well, we'll have to take Mousy with us because it's kind of like oh. Spanish. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> I knew they could figure it out. I knew that this crew could handle it. Oh, okay. Frank Feeney says Azoriacs. 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 Eaks like maniacs, Azor Eaks. Oh, Azoria. Oh, Azoria. Huh. Yes. Okay. Okay, that's a good one. Yeah, they, like yeah, they, they, yeah. We can check in. Here they are. Mm-hmm. Here they are. They're going crazy. Yeah. They are going nuts. <laughs> right, the Azores. This is really it. This is really the Azores. Uh, you know. So, what's everybody doing tonight after this? Yeah, what's everybody doing? Nashin. Uh, Okay. See, I'm not working. I might be asleep by 11. I was going to yeah. say, you're going to fall asleep, too. Yeah, I don't think I'll make midnight. Uh, I'm going to try to catch Earth, Wind, and Fires on CNN, and they're my boys. So oh, okay. Okay. they're still happening. Well, so, uh, what, time, what time are they on? Do you know? Well, I don't know. Right before midnight? Yeah. I'm not, produ- I'm not producing the show. I'm just going to watch it. Uh, what, what year was the wait. first time you saw them, Mousy? That was the first band I toured with. My brother was a keyboard tech. Uh, a keyboard tech. Uh, 1979, 80. Okay. So you yeah. were after Fredzo, right? Yes, yeah. after Fredzo. He almost fucked it up for the rest of us, but I still got to be <laughs> <laughs> But my brother was their keyboard tech. Yeah, and I have to tell you, they were. I, I learned more from those people about taking care of this stuff than any other band I worked with along the way. Mm-hmm. Uh, probably, Gary, Gary probably, was the, Gary was a T-Bark tech. No, my brother, Don, my oldest brother. Oh, 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 your brother, Donnie. Yeah. Um, and I, I'm telling you, I'm probably still alive because of the lessons I learned with those guys along the way oh. of just really like, you know, what comes first in this world as opposed to, you know, the other stuff that you could get caught up in, which, you know, at that time was just so insane. So, yeah, that's probably the reason I'm alive. 
I have a- to, every time I see Maurice, I, I, I like, uh, I mean, every time I see Verdine, I'm like, thank you. My parents, thank you. My children, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Was, uh, was there a guy named Shorty still working there? Yep. Yep. He was. Yep. Because he started with Fred Zell. Yeah, well, Fred, Fred Zell went. Yeah. Rogue. Oh. I'm going to say oh. goodnight. Oh, is that it for Angus. you? Yeah, that's it for me. Hey, Angus, do you have a resolution? Yeah, do you have a resolution to share with the, with the crowd? Uh, resolution. No. No, I don't. I haven't thought of anything yet. I'll let you know when I figure out something. Well, well we're doing it again next year. Well, so happy you'll, New Year. Happy 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 New Year to Stella and Fran. Yeah, I will. Yeah, Happy New Year to yeah. Stella and Fran. Now get the, the fuck mouse. out of here. No. <laughs> Boy, he said he was going. He went, huh? He went, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Mouse. Yeah. Angus has a Chihuahua, and its name is Mouse. Really? Yeah. 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 Oh my God. When it was a puppy, and it fit like in the palm of their hand, it was like the size of a mouse. Oh my God! You know, and <laughs> I, Jimmy Garcia from the Nerds, he had, used to have a dog whose name was Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> and then his son, uh, I saw him at a gig, and he, he burst into tears. His son was little at the time. He he started crying, and I said to him. Ethan, what's the matter? He goes, chicken died. And I was like, do you have a chicken? He's like, no, chicken died. And I said, I'm so sorry. I didn't say so. <laughs> I know, I it was a dog. Yeah. And then, and then his wife, uh, Thea, said to me, she goes, chicken was our dog. And he wrote a sad story about it at school. I was like, like, as if children aren't confused enough. As if people who did drugs in the 70s aren't confused enough. Right, like, right. Come on. You know, yeah. this 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 reminds me of uh, the three brothers that they were having an argument to give their mother the best Christmas present, right? And so the one brother goes out and he buys her this ridiculous limousine, decked out, take her anywhere she wants to go, amazing car, television in it, the, the whole nine yards, right? Phone, everything she could want. The other brother goes out and buys her a mansion. And I'm talking like Hollywood mansion, pillars in the front, just gorgeous marble, crystal, as crazy as you can be. But the third brother, he knows that the mother is into the scripture. She's getting old. She can't read. So he buys her this very rare parrot that can recite the entire Old Testament and the New Testament. I can't tell you how much money he spent on this thing. <laughs> so they all call her up, right? And they're on a Zoom call with Mom. Merry Christmas, Mom. Merry Christmas. And she said, oh, thank you. She said, Robert, you know, uh, your Christmas present of the car was lovely, but it's way too more than I need. I don't go out that much anymore. It's, you know, it's, you know I, don't, I don't need that. And Harvey, the house is ridiculous. He said, I'm now walking through Jewish. the house, <laughs> walking through the house. I can't do anything. I can't even remember where I'm going. It's way too big. It's ridiculous. You have to... Get rid of this, he says. But Joey, your simple gift was delicious. Oh. <laughs> gift of the chicken. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> ba -da -ba boom. <laughs> Jesus. We're here all week. Try the chicken. Oh Lord. <laughs> Well, everybody enjoy the rest of your yeah. night. Yeah. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Happy New Year. Happy, Happy, New Year. Happy New Year, everybody. Lori, we'll see you all next year. Love yep. you guys. Yeah, see you all next year. year. We will. Next see you year. next year. Yeah. Take care. Be Bye. safe, everyone. Bye-bye. Be careful. Bye. Wear your masks. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Hell yeah. Thank you guys, love you all. Take care, man. Take care, bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Uh well. All right. That was great. Those guys that are, was. It's uh
It's always a party. Yep. Now it's time to have some food and go watch the festivities. Oh, I can't wait to see Machine Gun Kelly. <laughs> I want to go see CNN and see uh, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Oh, really? Well, yeah, but I'd be serious and wanting to go see that. Yeah. Well, guys, I hope, really do hope that you enjoyed New Year's Eve with us. Uh, let's just check in on the Azores one more time just to see. I uh, see they're freaking out over there. Oh, yeah, yeah, they've been in front of this stage for weeks. <laughs> they might have been. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, I, uh, I'm i grateful that we we're able to do this, and I am grateful that you're here, and grateful that uh, you choose to spend part of your day with us. And, um, and Monday, we'll have Brad and Colby That's right, back. Monday, Brad and Colby will be back. I will, Why does that keep coming up? We don't know. Uh, Brad and Colby will be back, um, and, uh, you ready to start another year. We've got some interesting things planned for you. Angus, you better. Um, <laughs> and, uh, we're looking forward to another great season, another great year, and thank you again, really, for being here, because without you, we're just two idiots sitting in a room looking at computer screens. So. <laughs> we're that anyway, so... <laughs> Yeah, but if they're there, at least. And, if, uh, man, props out. I have a, a YouTube person. I, I don't know where you're from, but Bulgaria. thank you for being here. B Bulgaria. Bulgaria. And my Twitch people, I'm, I'm so uh, proud that you spend your time here. And uh, if I don't see you in the future, I'll see you in the pasture. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. Good night, everybody.